Hello and welcome to another tool introduction. Today I will show you a tool called Space Transform and this tool lets you transform your position and normal uh, data. Uh, so uh, here I have a render with uh, position data and for this to be more visible I generated a 3D noise from position and also a, a, a position mate and now we can uh, transform our uh, position. So just connecting this uh, Space Transform and uh, setting the position data like now its uh, position data is on RGB because of this shuffle, but I can uh, set in to any uh, channel. And this is um, what uh, space to convert or uh, transform this position. Uh, so for now it's set to arbitrary transform and uh, this is just transforming your position like scaling and uh, moving, uh, rotating it. Uh, so if I connect this uh, to, to my noise uh, and uh, start scaling it, you can see that uh, this is uh, scaling uh, my noise size and uh, here uh, it uh, the same happens. I also can uh, scale uh, in in one axis uh, or uh, yeah uh, or uh, rotate uh, rotate everything. What else can be done uh, is I can connect an axis uh, any axis really and um, transform it using using axis. If I have an animated axis uh, or uh, I just uh, want to use axis uh, for some reason. Uh, so th this is uh, this is an arbitrary transform. And now uh, let's convert uh, this uh, position data to object space. Uh, when I set it to object space, uh, it wants me to connect an object transform. Uh, and I have this axis here uh, that is uh, parented to the spaceship and it is uh, it's just exported from Maya and it's uh, moving with the spaceship. Uh, so uh, I just connect it and uh, this is now in object space, so uh, the uh, position is sticking to this uh, to this object. Uh, and if I view the noise, I can see that my uh, noise is uh, st stuck on this object. This this also changed the scale, uh, but I can use um, one more uh, space transform node uh, and and just change the scale. Uh, and uh, and this is what happens. My uh, noise is uh, stuck on this. Uh, on this uh, spaceship. So the, uh, this object space uh, have no additional options. Uh, let's go next. Uh, position reference. What is a position reference? It's very much like object space, but with one difference, it matches uh, position, uh, just uh, world position uh, in uh, one reference frame. Uh, so when I cr connect my object transform to this axis, when I connect it to my uh, axis, uh, what will happen is uh, the position uh, will be stuck to the spaceship, but uh, I can set a reference frame, for example, uh, this frame, frame 15, uh, and on frame 15, uh, this would match the position, the, the world position. But from this frame on, uh, I can, uh, this will be tracked to the uh, spaceship. Uh, so it only matches on the reference frame. Uh, that's why position reference. Um, this is a very useful thing. And uh, for example, when I look at my noise, uh, it's, uh, it's stuck uh, as, as before uh, on the spaceship. Uh, if I use another one to just uh, scale for more visibility, uh, you can see that uh, it's um, it's stuck to the spaceship, uh, but for uh, reference frame, I can I can match it to the uh, position path. Like if I connect here, sorry, if I connect here, yeah, it it matches one to one. Uh, by the way, this one is only used for scaling, but when I change my reference frame, it uh, it starts to uh, differ. So this is um, this is the position reference. Uh, camera space is uh, just the camera space. You connect it uh, to the camera, and uh, for example, if I uh, do a shuffle and uh, shuffle out the uh, blue channel, it's uh, for now it's just negatives. But it's if I invert, if I invert it, uh, I get uh, something like uh, a z depth. Uh, it's it's just this, and it's it's moving with the camera. You can uh, you uh, convert your position to uh, Z-depth like uh, AOV, uh, maybe uh, it can also be like uh, uh, in different axes. Uh, for example, this is uh, using the X-axis, uh, this is using the Y-axis, uh, and etc. What else we have is the most interesting mod, and it's called Projection Space, uh, and it's gen it just generates STMAP uh, to, uh, to do like a position projection. Uh, for example, if I choose a frame, uh, let's choose frame 15 uh, and I set it to uh, to this frame. I need to connect a camera 
uh, here it is, uh, it will generate an STMAP uh, for this frame. Uh, and um, it's, uh, it will not be looking like an STMAP in other frames, but for this frame, it, it's just a regular STMAP. And uh, you can uh, maybe uh, draw something on this frame. Uh, it's, it's frame 15. Um, for, for example, let's, uh, let's put a roto paint and draw something. And use an STMAP node uh, to map it. And now it's just uh, projected. Like I did a simple projection using position and AOE. You can do the, the same things with the normal, normal AOE. For, for example, I can uh, rotate it. Uh, if I use a space transform node, uh, I can uh, rotate my uh, normals. This may be useful in relating your CG. And that's basically it. You can download all the tools from the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.